everybody. It's me, Ranny boy. Didn't do it tonight, but I'm going to do it first thing in the morning after milking cows. Help the last person I'm going to help chopping their corn. <laughs> I'm going to take my corn head off. Anybody know what a corn head is? Other than what this thing is? <laughs> yeah. It's on, my, it's on the front of my chopper and uh, I'm going to pick her, put, a, put a picker head on it. I said picker head. That's why you pick the ears of corn off the stalks after they get a little more drier than they are now. I said picker head. <laughs> I might be one of the other things too. But anyway, I had a. How can I say this? Maybe after I get some sleep. But anyway, um, <clears throat> about a week and a half ago, somebody stopped here, walked in my barn, ran out of gas in their in their car, and asked if I could help them and call a tow truck or something, or call some gas station, have somebody bring in some gas. There's no, I can't do that. But I can probably give you enough out of my tank here to get to, get to you a station. I put five gallons in this car and filled up the thing. Okay, let's go dump it in your car. He said, how about your cows up there? I said, milkers will take care of themselves. I just got to chip. When, when the cows get done milking, the cows, the, the milkers will... Relax and take off. And all I have to do is put them on the next, next one. So, been doing it for years. <laughs> At least two. <laughs> and uh, he says, Can I come see that? I says, Well, uh, I don't really know who you are. He says, But still, you would give me gasoline. You want to come see it? Come see it. You're wearing pretty nice clothes to be in the barn. Just I'm going back to a different studio. I was by here before. I kind of admire your farm. It looks so pretty and nice. I said, you don't have butter talk me. He said, that's pretty. <laughs> butter talk. Ha <laughs> ha. Wisconsin farmer. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. He says, this is where it all happens. I showed him around, and uh, I says, uh, "How far you got to drive? You 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 said you're from another state." I said, "It's not Illinois." He said, "No, it's not Illinois." I said, you, you, where are you from? He says, "New York." I said, you guys say Illinois too? <laughs> I said, "Why do you do that?" Just to pick on him. <laughs> Me too. I said. <laughs> I, I said, um, I'm glad I could help you, but uh, I got work to do. I got, got to finish building my saddle here. I'm planning on doing that yet tonight. I said, you got the chopper boxes unloading out there. You think they're all right by themselves? I said, I've been doing this since I got this farm. Now I got this new equipment and that, yeah, yeah I think. I think I'll be all right. And uh, now this was one day last week when this all happened. And uh, the next day he stopped in. He says, uh, "I don't know if you're into drinking or anything like that." And uh, I noticed some old guy sitting up in your porch one time drinking. Beer and eating a sandwich. Oh, I said, oh, yes, my neighbor. <laughs> we help each other out. I said, why wasn't he helping you the other night? I said, ah, I do my own work. I kind of demand that. I'm kind of stubborn. Well, stubborn as you are or not, he said, I left a 12-pack of beer in your milk house. 
I don't know if you can allow that to have that, so I thought I'd better tell you. I said, oh, I better get it out of there. Uh, yeah, I can have it in there, but Amo will find it. <laughs> hey, you guys out there in YouTube land, wait till Amo watches this. <laughs> you wonder where I held that 12 back. <laughs> no, but, uh, I said, well, I appreciate you stopping back. You, you didn't have to do that. He says, well, you didn't have to help me. You know, I, I've been in pretty much every state of the United States, is what he told me. He says, I've stopped on some farms. Generally, I got my ass kicked out because I'm a banker. I says, not one of the New York bankers. He says, that's where we got our name from, but... He says, no, uh, you help me out, and I'm going to help you out. He says, yeah, here's a check for more what the gasoline costs. I said, I'm not going to take any money from a bank, and you think you own me. He, he said, okay, here's cash. Came from the bank. You work for a bank. He says, if you think that poorly about me, why did you help me? I says, everybody needs help. You don't owe me nothing. He says, how about if I, if I tell you I'm after the nice guy? I said, tell you what. How much money you got in your hand there? You go up here to the assisted living place. Here's the address. I'll tell you how to get there. Give that money to them. I'm going to do it. I said, I'll call and make sure you did. I'm going to follow you. In fact, I can give you a ride if you want to ride in a farm pickup truck. And I went up there, and I took him with me, and uh, he says, You don't know who I am, but I'm giving this money to you. Buy you some food, whatever you need. You know why I'm doing this? He said, Because Ronnie Boy helped me. And I said, Ronnie Boy! And uh, I gave him a ride back to his car, and uh, he says, What about me? I said, you did, I think you did a good job. And that's coming from a Wisconsin farmer. You didn't have to do it, but you did. He said, you didn't have to turn it down. You gave it away. I said, no, I didn't give it away. I kept it. 